His racers are gonna be attack slug and fly eagles fly. Uh, sitting here with me within the squared circle today is a uh, nest rocker yet again. What's up, my man? Not much. Uh, it's very comfortable in the squared circle, I must say. Oh yeah, very com. And I, the seats are great. Like, very leathery, very comfy. And speaking of seats, uh, you all paid for the whole seat, but you'll only be using the edge when you watch this race against Attack Slug and Fly Eagles Fly. I'm really excited about this. I am too. I am too. I'm super excited about the whole thing. Um, yeah, who's I gonna kick them off today? Actually, I didn't. I, I hate saying this, but I kind of forgot who was gonna kick this off today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Crimson. Oh, by the way, everybody, give a good, good, huge shout out to Crimson Green for the restream today, man. He was super awesome. Thank you so much. For helping uh, us out today. Crimson saying I'm a little quiet. Is that any better? All right. And uh, this is going to be a standard uh, night pendant cup race with, uh, did you say 100% attack shuffle? Yes, yes. 100% attack shuffle and PSI extended. Every single race in the night pendant cup is going to be psi extended and it looks like they're starting off in delam here what a spot to start in dude delam is such a hype spot you get a free character you get a nice heal spot Ugh, the dream is real at the beginning of this seed you really couldn't ask for too much better the only thing that they're lacking from starting here is just a place to grind on some low level enemies and it looks Ooh. like Poo is the kid yeah. in the throne they, room. Yeah, they got a Poo in the hands. Let's go. I, I That makes me want to ask uh, here, Pink Panther, is this even randomized? I know, right? It, it doesn't feel like it right now. It doesn't feel like it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I was like, what, what happened to Eagles there? He's going. He's going. I haven't seen either racer check out their teleport, their other teleports yet. But no. I think we're going to be finding it out soon. Yeah, it's either he's going to check it right outside the door or he's going to wait till after the poo sequence. Yep, there we go. Winters and Saturn Valley. Saturn Valley. Not bad, not bad. Winters is a key item right off the bat. Uh, and Saturn Valley is possibly going to be one of those sanctuary spots. So they're going to have to think. Either this uh, poo teleport is going to lead them to progression or they're going to get the meteorite in winters because as of right now, they really don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, they don't. Ha this It's not like they started in foresight. Usually when you start in foresight, you have so many split paths. But when you start with the Lom and the locations they got, they, they don't have much going on right now. But ha it has to be that. If there's nothing from this teleport location, like that key item is definitely going to have to be the meteorite piece. Or the jar of fly honey. I, I suppose it could be bubble gum as well, but oh, I, I'm hoping not for that. I always hate uh, not right now. Winners. Yeah, not right now, actually. This is this is where I would definitely not want to pack a bubble gum right away. Oh no! Fly Eagles. What? I'm not sure. Oh. Okay, Pooh started with Sign Banana. That's yeah. That's not gonna help them now, right now. But he goes to the tele, to the uh, mood training spot, and uh, I guess he doesn't oh. know you can talk to Star Master there, cause he oh, he went no. back down the ladder and he's going all the way back. So yeah. Uh, the Unfortunate. Room. That's an unfortunate mistake that happens. That actually a lot of us that scramble. Uh. It even happens to me, too, because I have a lot on the mind, man. There's a lot to remember, you know, so he probably just forgot to talk to Moo and or the Grandmaster and, you know, go from there. Yeah. But, you know, he just has to, but it's just taking that walk back and going all the way back down can be just it can be very tilting. It's a huge time loss and, and you don't have to do it. Um, you can talk to that Star Master right there and he will also trigger that. Uh, that teleport sequence and it looks like that the um teleport from moo training is uh lost underworld 
That's a, that's a sanctuary in the pocket. That's that's super nice. And it looks like we found the jar of fly honey too. That's that's what I'm looking on slug screen right here. And honestly, the quicker that Fly Eagles Flies gets to Winters and picks up that jar of Fly Honey, it's going to break this seed wide open because doing yeah. that belch base is going to give you Tucson, it's going to give you Dusty Dunes, it's going to give you Foresight. you got a lot of room to expand from there. Yeah. Slug did a little bit of shopping in Winters, too. A uh, very good idea at this point because uh, the items that they received in the chest weren't the best, so she wanted to get at least nest stocked up on a few things. Uh, you don't want him going out there willy-nilly. It's very difficult. And it looks like Slug is realizing what I said about uh, breaking that seed open. She's going to go straight for that belch base. You're going to check them presents first, man. Got to. Like, it's it. they're right there, you know. Oof. Yeah, whenever okay. I go into a new town, I like to dig around in the trash just to see if there's anything good. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, we're, we're seeing the effects of that time loss from walking back to the throne room. Um, Fly Eagles is basically doing the same route that uh, Tax Slug is, but it's just, I would say, 20, 30 seconds behind. Yep, so uh, he's behind on that part, but I mean, there's still time to make up here, too. You know, anything can happen. Uh, well, he's... This is interesting. All right, Slug's going into Belch's base right now, or, well, getting there. The whole... And Fly <laughs> Eagles is deciding to do Fire Springs, it looks like. Oh, nice. I hope he prospers from that, because because that, that could mean the difference right here. And attack Slug, attacking some slugs here. Good job, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so the flags are for the standard Knight Pendant are going to be a Doc Saturn, standard race percent, and then it's extended PSI shuffle. Now for this particular race, we are doing a uh, hundred percent attack shuffle as well. So when you see people like a uh, clumsy robot, they could be throwing out some PSI instead of eating a bologna sandwich. Yes, yes, anything can happen. Uh, even car painter using the wrong attack and sometimes he'll use fire and that can be hilarious to see actually. It's like, wrong move, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think with the strategy on 100% attack shuffle, for me at least, is just getting the best equipment you can, because you never know when, you know, someone's going to throw out, uh, you know, like you said, the fire moves. Like, the like, moves. And then here's another, and then here's an example. We got a Spectre over here in a Belch's base. And he uses fire. Ha ha. So, and then also, like, Slug got all that equipment, too, so this fight shouldn't be too, too bad, but that fire is super devastating. Ooh, and he just keeps using it yeah, over and over. Like, that's gonna be a death for Slug. Yeah, that that's a, that's an L right there. That, that's gonna happen, too. Man, that's kind of what happens. But see, this is where the Delam heal spot is so dang useful. Because when you die, you can just insta-heal, go back to where you were. It, it's, it is, like, the least time waste that you could use, that, that can happen to you right there. Like, the least that could happen to you, and it's so lovely. Yeah, absolutely. That That is probably PK Scrimble's, uh, like, Crimson is saying in chat, the second best heal spot. The number one being the lab in Winters, because there's only one scene transition you have to go through to teleport out of there. Ah, yes, you are correct on that. I am still a fan of Delong. Winters is down yonder. That way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will agree, it is down yonder. And uh, it may be that uh, Fly Eagles Fly has the, the correct notation here of, you know, beating up some enemies in Fire Springs, gaining those levels, and then going to Belch Base, because that specter is rough. Now, of course, you can't know that, but we do as uh, the audience. Yes, now now, a slug, now is what I'm seeing on my side. Yeah, Slug is a... Like, she took a pounding in Belch's base, but the enemies seem very... You know, could it, are very easy to beat. So yeah, she should have just gained a few before she went in on that. Cause where Eagles is at, man, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be a little he's gonna be a little bit ahead after this. Cause by looking at how different the scaled enemies are, you know what I mean. Absolutely.
Slug once again going for yeah. that Electro Spectre. We'll see Come how it turns out this time. Let's get it. It looks like Starstorm is in the uh, Favorite Things slot for PS4. Oh. And Pooh has Rock and Bomb, man. Holy moly. What a set for him. What a set for Pooh. He's going to learn, like, the, the remaining moves that's going to be learned on that's going to be super quick. Oh no, Slug. This is going to be another uh, L for her. Yep, it is. Oh no. Oh, clutched it out. Whoa! The commentator's curse. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Man, that's what happened with the, the last time on the last match that she did. Uh, she she barely nicked down on that hot dog, man. And oh, man, Slug can clutch it. Slug can clutch it. Absolutely. It looks like the boss of. Um... Fire Springs is ever dread, by the way. He's just a weird guy hanging out in a volcano. Oof, we got that weird split path I was talking about. Uh, the teleport location uh, that the coffee guy gives you at the end of um, before the sanctuary was Foreside. Interesting. That's not especially helpful um, due to you have to beat Belch Bay, so it's open anyway. But uh, it's not bad. I mean, it saves you having to ride the bus over there, for sure. But, I mean, I'm also talking, like, now there's so many ways to go. Like, they have signed Banana, they've got Moonside now, they can go to Mole Cave. The, 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 the paths really get more split from here. Absolutely. I mean, Fly Eagles Fly is not there yet, but he pretty much has to go to Belch Base at this point. Looks like he's checking the presence in Fire Springs. It's not a terrible idea early on in the seed, but it does waste a lot of time. It it can, but I, he picked up that teddy bear, and that can be a super useful item right here. Uh, so it looks like we got both players finished one Sanctuary. That's really good. Ten minutes in. Yeah, ten minutes, and they have access to two Sanks, and each one has uh, downed one. Uh, Rizu Kun in the chat is saying that uh, Fire Springs was Sank 3. Wow, he he was not a challenge for Sank 3. Oof. Yeah, let's see here. Slug leaving. I'm pretty sure she's gonna probably maybe do Underworld. Thank you, thank you. Now, now we're back. Now I don't look. Now I'm not Nest Rocker anymore. I appreciate you for that. Oh, nobody wants to be Nest Rocker. Trust me. I I didn't even realize it until I, st until I watched him started doing stuff, and it, it was just funny. I was like, oh, I was Nest Rocker the whole time. Uh, I didn't even have an air horn or anything. Like, I was gonna. And we're seeing that quartz crystal. So I think that is the Jeff only item for the normal PK rockin'. Yes, that is actually. And we're seeing Slug's meme. Oh, oh Rip uh, Pee Pee. Uh, yeah, they had some uh, personal tragedy earlier today in their family. So thought, you know, thoughts out to attack Slug for for still being in this. Many, race. Really many, many it. thoughts out here. All right, it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Now they're completing the uh, opposite sides of sanctuaries now. Uh, attack Slug going to Lost Underworld, and Eagle is obviously going for Jar of Fly Honey. We're going to see Eagle's meme here. Slug, use the oh. sword. <laughs> use the sword. <laughs> uh, that is a reference to uh, them playing A Link to the Past. They were doing a randomizer, and uh, Slug didn't know she had her sword. And that was, tiny yeah. little ghost is huge <laughs> on Attack Slug's side. Uh...
Yeah, so so basically we're seeing the same thing here from uh, except on opposite screens now guys So, uh, you know first off, you know except for the ghost part. I, I don't think uh, Eagles ever had an encounter with a ghost. Ooh, that life up saved by by slug was super dope right there. Good job. Good job Eagles yeah, hitting. Oh. I have to imagine now see how would you proceed you've got foresight open you've got Tucson open and you could go either way. See, I, I'm personally a fan. I'm I'm trekking straight to the desert, straight to Foresight. How about you? Uh, yeah, Moonside. Let's go. Like, let's go Moonside. I go to Moonside every time. I don't know why. I just do it. Like, I have to. Like, if it, even if it's my first location, I'm just like, oh, gotta go to Moonside. Have to. Yeah, but they've got a wealth of checks that they could um, look in at, and Slug taking another death. Holy moly, she! This has been a this has been tough. This has been tough on her. Oh, she's going the four side. Okay. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad choice. No, 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 no. Especially, I mean, after seeing what she probably saw, she's like, okay, this was a little bit too ahead. So she's actually going to head do sign banana. Not and, a bad idea. There's a key item behind it, too. So that'd be two sanks down and then, you know, key item that could be possible, like, progression. Sure. And even if that key item doesn't turn out to be progression, you've got Moonside, like you said. You've got the deserts you can check. You could even schlep all the way to Tucson, get the Apple Kid check. Yes, there's so many options right now. A Karaki would be huge. This would be a, this this could be a sub thirty minute seat. Yes, if it's, it's if it's Karaki, that would blow my that would blow my absolute mind. I, I would just like oh, what a seat. Uh, Eagles teleporting, by the way, to the doorway. That's one way of taking care of it, but you can also kind of wiggle yourself to the side and kind of scrape along like the lake or whatever, or the healing spot or whatever, and just kind of sub them through. And you usually don't hit that photo spot either. The teleporting through there is not a bad idea. Yeah, and I think it is really smart. Both of the racers did this. After Belch Base, they just immediately went for that thing. Because you're not going to come back here more than likely, and you don't have a mouse to drop either. Exactly. It's a very short sanctuary. You might as well just go ahead and take care of business real quick. And then even leave. Like, return missing here is, isn't the best. I mean, if it was my last sanctuary and I had an extra mees, I would use it. But even if so, I wouldn't just use it here. I would just walk out. It'd be faster just to walk out. And Kraken going down on uh, Eagle's side there. And Frank was the sewer boss right there. Easily taken down. Easily. You always mess up that photo trigger? I don't know. I mean, you could always teleport like Eagles did, because Eagles has the same problem, too. It can be a little touchy, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I hit it every now and then. It was the diamond, so... The, so uh, the diamond was the key item after ma uh, after Magnet Hill, so. I mean, you can get to three that way, but you can. It's, it's not a carrot key. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that diamond could become a carrot key. That's true, because yes. when you turn the diamond uh, to free the. I almost said Fantastic Four. The Runaway Five. Uh, you do get that uh, convenient bus back to three and another key item, so it's one for one. Yeah, the Fantastic Four is my favorite band too, dude. Like, they're jammer in this game. And and speaking of uh, that tricky photo trigger. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I see that. Usually a better thing to do there, just go ahead and teleport. You'll skip that trigger for for dang sure without any problems you cause the risk of accidentally hitting one of the edges but if i mean if you i mean once you know a little bit of practice and a little bit of doing it over and over you can teleport out of there pretty easily with teleport beta eagle's heading back to delon i'm not really sure why irrelevant news i have sour patch kids oh did you bring enough to share with the class? Yes, I did, actually. Everybody in chat, too. Everybody grab a Sour Patch Kid. I got a green one. I got a blue one. 
<laughs> and then you hear Charlie Brown in the background. I got a rock. <laughs> I'm I'm guessing he's going to get um, repel sandwiches, which you know that makes sense. I guess if you nothing, on. no nothing wrong with repel sandwiches. Like oh, they're such a nice item. I mean you can't. I mean the the replacement of the replacement of skip sandwiches and for uh repel sandwiches for this game was very nice because you don't really need to go fast because we kind of already are fast yeah and i was i was looking at eagles did you see what the uh, diamond turned into oh rizu and chat also missed it yeah i did too i apologize for that guys i'm a bad commentator Not really. I'm a really good commentator. I agree. <laughs> See? It makes everything better. Let's see here. She's probably gonna pick up uh, whatever character that is. Maybe that character being Jeff, and then maybe that Jeff having a very convenient item known as the care key. That could be it, but ho personally, personally, Panther, I'm dying for flying. Oh, you want some flying, man? Ugh. You want we some flying? I love flying, man. Ugh. The last race, we didn't see flying, man. This race, I want to see him. You're taking requests for Earthbound music? Uh, er uh Moonside. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. That was the Panther whiff, guys. Everybody. And it looks like uh, Fly Goes Fly using those repels to get through the sewer super fast. Yes, this is a super... This is this is where repel sandwiches, like buying them, really kind of pays off against not buying them. Because the slug hasn't gotten any yet. Uh, she knows where she could possibly find them, because there's two spots for sure that they're in. Uh, the one spot is in Delam, where Eagles bought his, and then there's a very convenient spot in Dusty Dunes at the drugstore. There's also a person that sells repel sandwiches there. And we're about to see who that, that uh, kid check is going to be. On the slug side. Good. And it's Paula. Let's go. Uh, she doesn't come with a key item, but they do have access to Tucson, so they could find exactly. whoever is in uh, Everdread spot for another key item. Exactly, exactly. So now there's like two possible key items that we need here, though. You know, it's either we need the pencil eraser or we need the carrot key. Either or we'll finish everything out. So we're just waiting to see. This is this or is a intense. pack of bubble gum. Or a pack, yeah, a pack of bubblegum, that's right, that's right. You think Dymo is hieroglyph copy? That'd be unfortunate. Because I don't think we have teleport to Summers, do we? But they do not. Slug doing some shopping for her girlfriend here. Getting her some nice bracelets, a nice hat. <laughs> you can't, you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't go, you can't go without style, girl. Come on. Slug knows what to do. Exactly. You you pick up your friend out of the bottom of a graveyard. You gotta buy him a Sherlock Holmes hat. Yeah, you gotta buy him a <laughs> in a frying pan and this weird pendant thing. You look like you've been through a lot. Here, yeah. Have a Here, Sherlock let's... Holmes hat. Here, let's like, let's try to make it look like Flava Flav. <laughs> Big old pendant on her neck. She can barely she can barely withstand the weight. Looks like uh, Slug is going to go for Apple Kid and maybe Everdread here, which I think yeah. is smart after picking up Paula, just doing knocking out both those checks real quick. Yeah, I and mean, you would have you will never have to come back here unless you get the pencil eraser. So it's always nice to clear out of town. That's kind of one of the strategies that I do, that I think about whenever I'm doing scrambles as well. Um, majority of the time, I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to quite go here yet because I don't have everything for here yet. So, like, for Tucson, if I didn't have Paula, um, I probably wouldn't go there unless I absolutely have to, unless all signs point into Apple Kid. Same really, thing with Winters. 
Yeah, I, and I think that's a smart way to be generally. UFO engine's gonna unlock Summers and heavily armed Pokey, and she's yeah. going for it. Get it, let's go. Uh, I think it's really interesting. Neither racer has checked the Dusty Dunes mine. Um, I at least want to see what that item is before, you know, doing other things. I would too, because the, the, there's two other important things that are in there too, and those are return Mises, man. And, and we do have the confirmation that the Venus item uh, from turning in the diamond was higher cliff combo, oh, which is not going to help anyone. Pokey Mimi it away with that hit for 69. Oh, there you go. All right. Easy fight. Bomb and rocket make it make fights like this so easy. Absolutely. So easy. Ness slept through it. He sure did, man. He was like, I'm a nap. Y'all take care of this. Yogurt dispenser. Oh, it's not exactly yogurt. what you want to see. No, but the, but here's the thing. I mean, if it's not Flying Man or Teddy Bear, and it is Jeff, that's a key item, plus another key item. But you got to think at this point, it, it's less than a 50-50 chance that it is Jeff, right? It's a one in three. I Yes, yes, because there's, there's only those other checks left. So, I mean, I personally, I wouldn't check there. But, I mean, I would like to see what the other key item is. Well, it's but obvious that it's again. Not, not you racing because yes. I was going straight for it. Yeah, there we go. Well, also, I would like to have return Mises before I go to either Sewers or the uh, Monotoli building. It's a long, it's a long walk back. Sewers is not that bad. It's about average length for dungeons, I think. Rizukun can correct me on this because I think they have timed out exactly how long it takes for each dungeon before Fast Ropes uh, was implemented. But uh, Monotoli building, for sure. It's a ton of scene transitions, and the elevators are slow as heck. Yeah, and just doing all that, going all the way back down, is just like it makes you it makes you feel like Sonic, and you're just sitting there and tapping your feet, you know. It's like I'm waiting. Come on, Let's see, I'm I'm doing it now. I'm so anxious. I just want to get in the damn door. There we go. Okay, thank you, thank you, Slug. The elevators alone are 30 seconds. Yeah, it's a huge time. Yeah, I. I just, I really like the teleport anywhere flag because I just don't have to think about mice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the teleport anywhere flag is quite interesting. I actually got a good taste of that. Uh, I would say three weeks ago or so, I was doing random flags, and that one I would say takes some skill, guys. You gotta have some skill to learn how to teleport through some of those places. Looks like Eagles is going to go on a shopping spree. Just withdrew some money on the ATM. Uh, is this even randomized? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, going for paralysis, and I guess she's going for the deafening of the shield, too. Yeah. I don't I don't believe she has any... I don't think she has neutralized or anything, so she... Oh. Well, now she's going physical. Yeah, because the, the paralysis landed. Ah, I don't yes. know if you saw... Oh, uh, this is... Uh, not only do you have rockets and bombs for PSI slots, but the uh, support PSI is randomized as well. And uh, Ness over on Slug Side, I just saw, has PSI HP suck. Your thoughts? It's a it's a heck of a name for sure. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Uh, the only thing I can say is it, it's very. Uh, it H is Jeff. Jeff. Nice, nice. I will say this, when you do learn the PSI, it does have very quite comical text. You've learned suck A. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff has... Oh, man. Went too fast for me. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it either. Oh, monkey invitation there, though, from the old man. Oh, no. What do they do now? There's Moonside. There's Mole Cave. Uh... I mean, Ooh. monkey invitation is not that bad. All the items you need are right there in the shop, and you get a slug. teleport and a key item. Holy moly, Slug just found that flame pendant, so now she can kind of get through that uh, fire fight a little bit easier at that sanctuary, I believe. Because I believe there's, I believe she didn't get to finish the uh, Lost Underworld sanctuary because fire bit her down. Yeah, for sure. 
that flame pendant is gonna seriously it's it, it's such a super cool item to have especially with a hundred pen uh 100 percent attack shuffle and that's what i was about to say uh fire attacks are the most used psi i believe by enemies so when you're shuffling 100 percent attacks more often than not you want to protect against fire yeah everything knows fucking that everything knows fire sorry about that guys i apologize for that but it just it, it everything knows fire and 100 yeah. attack shuffle and you just can't escape it you don't realize uh because generally what you think about are the bosses right uh but you, when with 100 percent attack shuffle it's also pulling in regular enemies and there's a lot of regular enemies that use fire of, of one way or another you think about the caterpillars you know um and other enemies Yes, yes, quite. And then I think like the best combination you could possibly have in 100% attack shuffle script is like Franklin Badge and Flame Pendant. Those two things alone are just oof. They, they're so they're so they're so nice. They're so nice. Okay, Slug got that meteorite piece uh, from Jeff's item. It looks like, and is going to turn it in right away. Now, what teleport? I don't think they have any teleports that could give them a sink right off the bat. So I'm not really sure about this play. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see what happens here. Like it, it could just lead into more things and the more things. There, like I said, we're still seeing some avoidance from a few things, or it's either that or they're just wanting to open things up. Because I believe both players use a tracker. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's see what this teleport is. Scaraba. Nice. Scaraba. I mean, they've got Hieroglyph copied. That could be the play, but no one has checked deserts yet. What is I, the I desert? Know. I know. I know. I feel like, uh, I feel like an old person yelling at my TV. Don't right. go in there. Right. <laughs> or, the or like, or like, or we're like NFL fans yelling at our favorite team. What was that? <laughs> uh, them dang Cowboys did it again. I know that's the question we... That is the question we, we have been asking is why have they not gone to there? Why have they not gone to the desert yet? I, I tell you, I, when I first started running PK Scramble, I would put off the desert because I never wanted to do it. I never wanted to do mines or whatever, but it has, yes, yes, Fly Goes Fly is going to go check. <laughs> you got so excited about that. Me too, man. Me too. We're... But I, I put it off uh, so often and it, it cost me so many races. So now I always check it. I, I'd at least have to see what the item is. Back in my day. There it is. I, I'm telling you right now, Fly Goes Fly is going to win this race just because he checked mines. That's the force. No. What? Let's go. Let's go. Holy moly. Oh, does Doc Saturn have a bridge dungeons by default now? Uh, I still have to check it, but yes, um, bridge dungeons are on this seed, so... Is that uh, going to be a standard for the Night Pendant Cup? Um, yes, I would like it to be, actually. But there might be some instances to where we might not want to use it, depending on what flags we use. But majority of the time, I would like to use the Bridge Dungeons. Okay, uh, we, ha we have a question from chat from Black Sesame Seed, a.k.a. Charging Chargles. Saw Hyper Flash Bulb on Slugstream. What weapon thing does that emulate? Uh, it does flash, and it's a Jeff item. Yeah, it's it's Jeff's version of flash, a throwable flash. Actually, actually is the flash bulb the bomb replacement? Because I saw quartz crystal earlier, and I'm pretty sure that's yeah, the Jeff yeah, rocket. that's what I'm about. To, yeah, you know, now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I believe that's that's a hand grenade for every kid. Yeah. Yeah, there is quartz crystal. Huh. Fly goes fly is breezing through this dungeon. I, Slug is going to be kicking herself for you. 
days after yes 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 she is man and when it like just just realizing that that was the spot all together you know what i mean and whenever you know she gets there it's just i know she's just gonna be cursing up a storm on that one because i would i would be kicking myself too the mind's item is pencil eraser Very unrecoverable. Um, she has also taken three, uh, I believe, three deaths on this run too. Uh, was it three or was it two? I think it was two. I it could be two. She had. She's just had a very hard time on this seat, but she's still she's still making it through very well though. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, you know, this happens all the time in randomizers. Even when you're using a tracker, you. you things you can slip up you can forget about things or you can have like those mental blocks uh or, you know i don't want to go do mines mines takes forever i don't want to go to south winters south winters takes forever and sometimes that's to your detriment you know and you know what you you, you nailed you nailed it man you nailed it because i say the same thing about winters winters is like my place of where i don't want to go there like at all but i love tessie so much it's complicated it's a it's a complicated relationship for sure um but yeah as uh as some people in the chat have pointed out it's not unrecoverable a tax log could do another check and maybe she gets a later sink um because it seems like what fly eagles fly is doing is in logic um but she could get another sink get her four sink as you know maybe the fifth sixth seventh eighth sanctuary if she clutches through that you know she's still on pace for a win because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what sanctuaries you do, as long as you do four. And then you get to go to Magic Camp. Oh yeah, in any order that you want to. One, two, to six, to eight, doesn't matter. Just as long as four of them get done. Uh, and just to confirm, real quick, while I have the chance, yes, the flash, bo the, the flash bulb is the bomb, actually. I just watched Eagles pick up a flash bomb earlier. So, okay. just wanted to confirm that. Yeah, and um, Slug has a lot of opportunities to pull back. Like, she could go to Scarabus and turn in the Hieroglyph copy. She could, you know, do that and get a key item. She could go do Monkey Cave and get a key item and a teleport. Uh, she's got a lot of avenues in front of her, even if she, for whatever reason, <laughs> never checks the desert mines. You know, I, I've got to know what, what was behind that, Of you know what I mean? Because, because she knows it's there, and the like. I wouldn't really say. I mean, with the bridge dungeons, it's not that bad anymore. It's or not that bad anymore. It's not as bad as it was. And Eagles is gonna take a huge advantage by getting these return pieces too. That's gonna save him a heck of a lot of time. Good point. Uh, Rizakun in chat points out can't do monkey cave needs pencil eraser. Obviously, I, I don't know how I forgot about that. Thank yeah, you. you know what. Matter of fact, I do the same thing, and, and speaking of that, I'll do the whole monkey cave sequence and be like, ah, dang it, I don't even have the pencil eraser. So I lay a return me down. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever talk to the monkey in the pencil eraser room and waste like 12 seconds? I have actually not. He, he knows uh, he wrong with that. There we go. Alright, Eagles is in go mode, guys. Let's go. Slug continuing her no check uh, mind challenge by fighting the boogie tent. What a challenge this has been! Uh, I'm glad everybody got to be here to experience this challenge that she's experience yeah, she's doing uh, live on stream. I did miss that Apple Kid call. Apparently, Apple Kid called earlier and confirmed Monkey Cave is zombie paper. Oh, uh, okay. See, you know, it's weird. I, I mashed through that too quickly, and I hate that. Like, I usually miss what zombie paper is. And bogey tent down. Here we go. Or nightmare. Whichever one you want to call them. This has to be a progression item. It has, yeah, yes. Come on, give her something. Hawkeye, Hawkeye. It's gonna lead her straight through the 
pyramid. Uh, like, she's getting all the, the teleport to Scaraba, the hieroglyph copy. Now she has the Hawkeye. She, I know for a fact, I can't see her. I'm not watching her stream. But I know for a fact she's like, I guess I'm going to deeper darkness. I guess I'm going to deep darkness. That's what that's the, absolutely what this game is telling her to do. Or, well, the order that she did everything, that's what the game is telling her to do. So she's going to go do this nice summer's uh, cutscene real quick. I mean, that's not actually a bad play, because I I just have to imagine Slug has seed bleed or something where she thinks she's already checked the mines, but she hasn't. And so she's looking for every other avenue. She doesn't really want to go to, through the pyramid, so she's checking out Summers for the teleportation slot. I, I have no idea what it's going to give her, but uh, this is an unfortunate... Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, Butterfly in the cutscene. Butterfly in the cutscene. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited about things like that. Uh, but no, you're ex you're exactly right. Uh, just holy moly, the paths are super super diverse right now. They're they're so split apart, and I I just gotta know. I just gotta know who's gonna come out on top. Uh, yeah, and just to recap, Fly Goes Fly, with picking up that pencil racer, is now at four sanctuaries. Slug is stuck at three because she has not checked uh, the mines or done the mines for the pencil racer. But I believe Fly Goes Fly has finished Fire Spring and Milky Well and Magnet Hill. Slug, I think, uh, died in Fire Spring, but otherwise has Milky Well and Magnet Hill as well. Slug buying more nice items like the T-Rex bat, that can be super handy. I think she's about to be on her way to, uh, oh, she's going to the, uh, Stoic Club and see what that is real quick. I'm trying to think, is there a teleport that could save her here? Um... Not really. Onet, maybe, with uh, a key on the bookshelf? Yes, yes, Onet would be a good place, and then also maybe the Frank spot, too, could have something. Well, the Mayor Prickle. Meanwhile, uh, Carpainter has taken a little walk. He is now hanging out in Lilliput Cave. His house is full of cult people. He didn't want to be there anymore. Deeper darkness. This is not what you want to see, but I... Is she going to go there? She has a Hawkeye. I bet she does. Oh She's my. Looking. She's doing it. So what is she doing? I didn't She's see. Scared. I didn't know if she did an input up or anything. I didn't see. She's okay. going to Pyramid. Okay. I thought she was going to Deep Darkness, but I didn't see that up input. I'm just, I feel so bad for Slug. I, I, I'm not trying to uh, poop on her gameplay or anything. This happens to everyone. It at, does. At one point. You know, it's you just, certainly... you, it's super obvious when we're here, we're watching it, we're commentating on it. Of course, we know. We, we saw Fly Eagles fly. He's, he got it. He's going to Magic Camp. But she doesn't. When you And when you're in the driver's seat, it's easy, so easy to miss little stuff like that, to just have it slip your mind. Stick of commentators as like backseat drivers, you know what I mean? We're not actually there in the action and, and thinking what they're thinking, you know? We're just there. And we can make all the statements that we want, but we're still not driving the car. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Best case is the Hawkeye location will be Karaki. She still has to walk through Pyramid, though. That's a that's another thing, you know. Like, if I'm in the seed and I have these checks, assuming I'm in Slug's position, I'm like, even if that key item is something I want, like Hair Key, I need a mouse. 
and then, but she is uh, not going for that either. And they both have access to four mice. Through yeah. uh, two from the mines and two from the backside of Tucson up to it now. Yes, yeah, so they, they both have, they both regardless have access to, ooh, Night Pendant. Yeah, uh, Flygo Fly is now allowed to complete the seed. He has purchased a night pendant. All right, there you go. <laughs> Let's go. And I believe he should still have Sammy's left over too, huh? He just filled up uh, in Delam, yeah. Uh, yes, Pyramid is very out of logic, it seems like. Um... May even be sixth sync, to be honest. Five or fifth or sixth, sixth sync. Alright, going in for this shroom fight. Let's see. Hey, ah, oh, she doesn't have enough for rocket beta. There we go. Went down pretty easy though. So this is, this probably isn't far off. I just noticed uh, Slug's favorite thing. Oh, I have to. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that's about me. Thanks a lot. How self-conceited can you get? I also won an award for modesty. <laughs> no, I can't say that. I'm trying to make my own. Uh, I'm trying to make my own flavor window over here, so I don't have. I I can't say much. Oh yeah, uh, Magic Camp Boss, go. Who is it gonna be? I think it's gonna be Captain Strong. I kind of want to see Starman Jr. I, I, normally, I'd say what's well, not Trillion H. Brown because that's who's in the uh, CB in there. But uh, I would say Starman Jr. would be bad. It's Titanic Ant. But uh, with 100% attack shuffle, there's not really any boss unless one starts with a shield that you kind of are like, oh no, I hate this guy, he does this. Or if it's dog, obviously, because it turns into another dog. Uh, nothing scarier than gas pumps, though. In IRL and in Earthbound right now. Just looking at those prices scare me. Nice, finished it Ant, off. Ant is down, and Flygo Fly has won it all. All right, excellent work, Eagles. Uh, let's try to get him in for an interview. Yeah, you so want to message him? Yeah, oh yeah, let's go ahead. Let me let me go ahead and message him real quick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me just do it. I just don't wanna... Or, or I go. can if you want to. There we go. I I just go ahead and, and if you if you don't mind. Okay. It was that was that was GG's forty six forty two. What a heck of a time to make this this that was a good seed. Uh, but while we're waiting, let's go ahead and see what Slug's going on. She's stepping on some spiders right now. All of her kids are crying. Oh boy. What a heck of a pyramid. I'd be crying too. Looks like um, Eagles might be AFK, maybe going for a uh, celebratory bathroom break. Oh, he says he's in general chat. Oh, can... 
Um, Crimson, can you drag him in? Hello, Fly Eagles Fly GG. Thank you. Thank you, Ness. Appreciate that. Man, what a heck of a seed that was uh, so far. How, how did you feel about that, my man? I think I could have did it without going to three. I was just like, let me see if I get Jeff and if he has the carrot key, we're golden. So that's why I did three. But man, that was a nice seed with the third sanctuary being lost underworld. And I'm doing that first. Ooh. And let me let me just say from the bottom of my heart. And I think I speak for everyone here in the channel and in chat when I say thank you for checking mines. I was screaming for someone to check mines and slug still has not done it i like my mind was like this let me see if jeff is the character in three and then i was going to go back to mines after and because i like normally i go to moon side when i get four side but i was like all right we got something i'm like let's try this let's get tucson teleport let's keep it going and tried my best and i was like all right now i'm going to mines and just seeing what they got Yeah, and honestly, that was 100% the difference there. Um, Slug did not check. She did not get that force saying. She got all... It, it, you You and her were lockstep, almost. You were crisscrossing, high-fiving your way through different sank checks and, and key item checks. And then you checked mine, and she went another way. And it made all the difference. It really did. Like, holy moly, she is still... Uh... She realizes now, after seeing those uh, golden starmen, the starman supers, she's yeah. like, "I'm in, I'm in the wrong place." Yeah, there's like they were calling for help. They were calling more star peoples. It was, it was that was intense. Like that scared the living bejeebers out of me, guys. Like I was, I was scared to try to do um, moonside because I was thinking. I have a feeling they're going to be it's, high leveled. Slug just found key to the shack on the book sh in the library. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention if um, Pencil Eraser was the was the fourth sanctuary. I was just like, I'm in go mode. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. It was it was a great play by your part, and honestly, the routing you took. Uh, made a big difference too because that Electro Spectre in the Belch base was just throwing out constant fires but the levels you got from doing the first sink first made a big difference yeah I got a little worried when I got in there and I was fighting the no good fly and they weren't going down with the auto battle but then all of a sudden started taking that down got through it and then I got into a fight with the exploding tree and I'm like uh oh this might be a bad decision got through that I was like thank you this is the way <laughs> yeah no slug is right now she is in a giant step right now and she's also seeing that there's some very high scaled uh, enemies there yeah absolutely and it's um you gotta, you gotta be thinking at this point. You're like, I, I have access to a sink. I've missed something somewhere. Uh, she like, got all four characters too. She went yes. and the yoga dispenser. I skipped yeah. that once I got that item. I was like, nope, let's go to desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, uh, earlier you were in a fire springs, and to me, that's normal for you to go into high areas and grind. You know, so I was like, this is a normal Eagles thing right here, is to just kind of be in this high area right now and grind a little bit, and it paid off. Yeah, and I am I have to ask, was that intentional? Because with 100% attack shuffle, in a normal game, I would probably avoid Fire Springs, just because of the enemies there can be really brutal. But uh, were you taking the 100% attack shuffle into mind and thinking, oh, they're, they're probably not going to be like all Fire users? I just go with it like my gut tells me go for it like I got the lost underworld teleport my gut was like go there that's your first sanctuary if not then you got um, back up somewhere else so like I was just like just go once you get the sanctuary just go for the sanctuaries knock them out and that's what happened and seeing that it was ever dread as the sanctuary boss I was like oh this is an easy fight to win like yeah like once 
I once you go balls to the wall and it and it goes well, man, it, it's it's the best feeling in the world. I understand. Like, you just go with it. I do too. I go with it too. Just like I'm here. All right, let's see if I can beat this up. And Slug's doing something really smart here. She is loading up on these repel sandwiches. She knows, she has to know at this point, that the giant step sank is not in logic. But I think what she's going to try to do is just repel all the enemies away and get to the boss and rocket him down. Yeah, that's that's the plan, because that, that rocket beta is going to do at least 500, 700 damage on the right boss. Now, hopefully, uh, it is a boss that we can use rocket beta on. Because there are some that only take one damage because of how fast they are. Well, you've gotten all the, the problem characters out of the way. Electro Spectre can't be there. Clumsy Robot can't be there. Heavily Armed Pokey cannot be there. But what about Starman Deluxe and Nightmare? Oh wait, no, Nightmare is taken out. Slug has Nightmare. taken out Nightmare. That was the boogie spot. So the only one that's left is Starman Deluxe. She stocked up on those sandwiches. She was hungry. <laughs> Hey, a little Sometimes Sammy. You got, to. you got to stock up on those Sammies to help out. I I cannot wait to see what what comes out of this giant step. I'm In super excited. Dago, you must not have heard about Slug. Oh dang! Come on, hot dog. So, so how about the meme that I did for Slug? <laughs> That was a pretty good one, yeah. That uh, was a good one. Pink was explaining to everybody how that was from uh, a Legend of Link to the Past randomizer. Yep, hunting Doritos, the Triforce. If you wanted to talk about that. Yeah, so Slug realized that I do a lot of randomizers, and she's seen that um, I uh, played Link to the Past at Randomizer, and she was like, oh, let's do a Dorito hunt, which is the Triforce hunt. I was like, sure. So the first seed I made, I made the enemies randomized, and we both kept dying, so I was like, all right, I'll create one that's different. Well, she's used to not having the sword at first, and I just made it like basic simple with having Link have the sword. So she was going through trying to beat, like, trying to go downstairs in the castle without no sword, with no weapon to attack. And I'm just going through slashing with the sword. And, like, about 15 minutes in, I was like, she was, like, saying, how did you get through this? I was like, well, you throw a pot at the guy and it goes through. And she was like, yeah, not that guy. Where the guy who has the key is. Where? How'd you beat him? I was like, oh, I just swung my sword and just beat him. She's like, wait a minute, we have a sword? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that's been like the little catchphrase with her is, hey, make sure you use the sword, slug. That's pretty funny. It's dangerous to go alone, apparently. Slug downing Master Barf and is on her way to Magic Hand. Oh. Thank Man. God for that green swirl. Yeah, that green swirl. I mean, well, I mean, they're all gonna run away from her anyways. So green swirls are having like that hallway right there can get super crowded. So the best thing you can usually do is either a, you know, leave the door or just just green swirl them. It all depends. It's 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 whatever tickles your fancy there. Oh, Slug should already have going, enough. You're not getting the night pendants. Ooh. No night pendants. I think I I think Slug has had enough. <laughs> I mean, after I, the I, extra I don't blame she, her. she took, uh, she should be fine for anything that comes her way. And she's loaded up on repel sandwiches, as we can see here. Still got that bottle of water too, man. Super important. Stay hydrated, everybody. Absolutely. Always. I got. I had my cup of water right next to my cup of coffee. <laughs> I like to troll my chat, and they're like, oh, you want me to hydrate? Okay, cool. Let me get my nice, cold, delicious Coca-Cola. <laughs> then I drink water. Gotta watch out for the Ooh. trillion sprout in the water. Yeah, it's gonna be a little harder for a slug to dodge with four kids. She found a bag of D. Did you also find the bag of D in Magic Ant, Eagles? No, I did not. It was the present it. right before the Sea of Eden. Like, holy moly, that bag of D is gonna come in handy. Found it. 
Bass Sprout won. Ooh. Giving the rope a dope to Sprout 2. Oh, and oh. 3. Almost. Yeah, let's go. Knock them out. Knock out them gas prices. She's got it. She's got it. Oh yeah, this is this is done. She's choosing to the bomb route though. Which is fine because those skills, those pumps, you don't know what they have, so I would have probably done the bomb route too. Yeah, I think that's that's a conservative play there. And slug is through a GG to to GG slug. And GG to slug for sticking with it. And and what a great race it was. It, it was full of twists and turns. What do you think, Panther? I, I loved it today. It was quite the race. It was quite the race. Uh, I kind of I still want to get her thoughts on this too. We could try to get her in here too. That would be super fantastic if she is up for it. Uh, I'll message her for you. Yeah, because I, I understand. Uh, I I want I want to know her thoughts all together. I want to know why she didn't go to desert. <laughs> That's one. Of, that that's the big question of the night, my no, man. That is the big questions of the night. And it looks like Slug is uh, taking a celebratory bathroom break. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, after after as long as this that no, well, I wouldn't say this was actually a pretty standard. So they both still sub Howard. That's really good, in my opinion. It is super impressive that uh, you know even Slug sub Howard going way out of logic. Absolutely, like holy moly! For her to still sub hour, that was bru was really cool. Like, I mean, she should like regardless of the regardless of not winning the race, she should feel really proud of herself for accomplishing that, for accomplishing what she did in under an hour. I tell you, as much as I've harped about checking the mines, at least checking to see what it is. What was in Moonside? Moonside had to have been in Logic. I, you know what? That's a it's it's the dang night pendant cup and nobody checked the moon side. <laughs> I know. Because the way it was telling me, Panther, the way it was telling me was not to go to Moonside. It was saying go to the mines. Why didn't you go to the mines? You went to three. Why didn't you just go to the mines first? I get you, I get you. No, I I, I was telling them earlier how Moonside's my usual go to play. Because, like, oh, there it is. It's Moonside. I want to go. Then I lose, then I heal. Hello? Hello. It is Gamer Girl <laughs> Attack Slug 1. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can hear yes, you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay. I was having some audio issues earlier. And apparently some seed issues, because I really thought I had this. <laughs> slug, Slug, have you realized... Have you realized where you, where you went wrong? And I'm sorry, I can tell you this as a friend. Uh, is it when I skip pyramid? It's when you didn't check the damn mines. Oh, I forgot about mines. Uh, they were wondering what was going on there. Pencil eraser, eraser slug. Pencil eraser. What would that have done? Tucson. You had you had Tucson, dear. Not always the sharpest crayon in the box. <laughs> it's, it, it's quite okay. It's quite okay. But it was still a heck of a race. And I was just saying earlier that it was super impressive that you still went way out of the way and still did it all in under an hour. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. GG to you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of felt the logic getting away from me when I went to, um, where was it? Deep Darkness. And it was just absolute mayhem. And then I also felt the logic getting away from me when I went to Giant Step, and it was I was just like, why is this happening? Why why is this <laughs> happening to me? Like, why is everything terrible right now? My life is falling up. apart. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like everything I, we, is just falling apart. We were so we were talking. And I repelled my way through it. Um, yeah, we were talking about. Go, mode. go ahead, sorry. 
we were talking about that when you were in that fight with like I don't know two dozen Starman supers. Yes. I was like I can't see Slug, but I know she's having <laughs> she's in the wrong neighborhood. She knows it at this yeah. point. I was just like, why me? <laughs> it was also, bad. Uh, you might appreciate Fly Eagles Fly meme that uh, he did for this scene. What was that? Use the uh, sword, slug. Oh, come on! <laughs> One time! That's not fair! That's all it takes with us sometimes, dear. <laughs> just one time. I, I noticed, so and, and it didn't matter for this seed, because obviously Eagles got through it fine, and so did you. Uh, but neither one of you checked Moonside. Can you speak on your logic about yes, that? It's yes, I please so. Always... Please tell me why you skipped my favorite place out of everything. Please tell me. It was, it was zombie paper, and I already had Saturn Valley, and I didn't. I don't know if I even had three at that point. Okay, fine. Um, Was it zombie? I thought uh, we had yeah, a chatter. Yeah, it was zombie paper. It was zombie paper. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 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 fair, fair. That's fair. Well, it, was, it was something I didn't need, and so I knew I didn't need to go to Moonside, or maybe it was zombie paper was at Monkey Invitation. I know there was something at Moonside that I didn't need, and that's why I didn't go, because normally I do check Moonside for sure. Eagles, I mean, ju I Eagles just said, Eagle, Eagles just said, I, I didn't feel it, so I ain't going there. <laughs> Hey, hey, Eagles! You're in the post credits. Go back into the oh. the game and, and go do Moonside real quick. <laughs> yeah. I, I basically I... said forget Moonside because that was like the third check I was going to have to do. Uh, as opposed to what? As opposed to doing yogurt dispenser. Mm. Yeah. All I know is that I got a message. And I yeah. knew that Moonside was some. I'm pretty sure Zombie Paper was Moonside. Uh, That's what I want to say. I wasn't on camera, but I'm pretty sure everyone in ha in chat heard me tearing my hair out as you got led down the pyramid, uh, uh, deeper darkness path because everything was pointing to it <laughs> from your perspective, and I was just like, mm -hmm. "No, check the minds, please." It's like uh, that video. I know. I I had like a thought in my head, like a little inkling, like sparked in my brain where I was like, you know what, Slug, you should probably check the mines. And then I was just like, but I have all these other things to do. And so I just completely forgot. It's <laughs> like, you, you have to understand, Slug, me and me and Ness Rocker over here were like Cowboys fans screaming over a fumble. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I know, it can be very frustrating when you know something. No, it wasn't like, frustrating. We were like, oh, no. <laughs> it, it was, you know, I, it was... Just, I just let Eagles, you know, get off easy. I didn't want to embarrass him, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God>. uh, <laughs> at least I didn't get ran down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, those were fighting words, I think. <laughs> But uh, no, it was like the Earthbound equivalent of that uh, video where it's the woman watching, and here's a triangle. Do you know where this goes? That's right, the square hole. Oh yeah, that's wow. <laughs> Did you just call this is... <laughs> Was that like a slight? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I know. It was this still is fun, a circle. but yeah, the logic got that away go? from me. There was so many options that I just and and obviously me skipping mines and just not even checking what they were. Because Wait, I that... do, I went to Tucson. I knew I had Tucson open. A lot of times I feel like runners will forget that they have Tucson open after they do Belch Bays. Yep. And they'll be searching for the teleport there, but it's open once you finish Belch and you have three, right? So Yeah. I knew I had it open, I just didn't just slip the old noggin. And that's kind of what me and Pink Panther were, you know, reiterating. It is so easy when you're in the driver's seat to have a little slip up like that and just be like, right. or, or even a mental block. Because I know I do it with South Winters. I'm like, I do not want to go to South yeah. Winters. Oh, wow. What an easy fight in Moonside, too. And maybe it was something in my mind because I heard, like, I, I remember I got another... Um text or something where it was like smells like monkey so i was like well i don't have to do monkey invitation and and i did get monkey invitation so maybe i that's why i just skipped desert altogether you know i don't, i can't speak as to what how my brain works sometimes 
Oh, the mob, is, that, the enemy was General General, so he was easy. Yeah, that's what I saw. I was like, man, that Moonside boss was really easy. Tiny Ruby. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, yeah. Probably some other rabbit hole. Yeah, you're probably gonna get daisy chained around now. Watch. I yeah, don't even sure. have the tell. I don't think I do. I. Nope, I, really I don't even want to. I think that like 100 percent attack script is really not that typical at all. Is Honestly, that just me? I don't think it's that hard. Honestly, it makes a lot of things easier, in my opinion, because like yeah. I was saying, I was saying earlier, you don't have to worry about walking into fire springs and dealing with a lot of fire because chances are they're not going to have it. Um, mm -hmm. I think like a twenty and J Tomar kind of agrees on this one. A twenty percent attack shuffle is the worst. Really? So a hundred percent is less than. I think so because that makes less of a difference. It makes uh, it makes a that lot. That makes sense. I get it. I get it. That makes sense. Yeah. But uh, I think I think that's pretty good. You, you want to wrap things up here, Pink Panther? Let's go ahead and wrap things up, man. I, I would like to appreciate our racers today. Thank you, Attack Slug, and thank you, Eagles, for coming in for this exhibition match. Mucho appreciando for that, guys. Thank you for showing everybody in the Earthbound universe what we've got. No, absolutely. Thank you for thank you for letting everybody in our Earthbound universe see like what's going on and what we're what we've got cooked up, man. I love it. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much, and thank you we're to Nest Rocker really too. Oh yes, it's been. Oh, oh boy! And and thank you to the man behind the scenes, Crimson Green, for uh, restreaming this. Yes, thank you, Crimson Green, again. By the way, I wouldn't have trusted my internet otherwise. And, and when I'll... can we expect more uh, Night Pendant Cup? We're st we're wanting to start th kicking things off starting next week. Uh, we're gonna let people take. We need to take like a week break to still get things together. Because to be fair with you, and I'm not trying to say anything, but I haven't even started on brackets yet. Uh, not because I'm lazy, but I've been working on personal things. Like, I really need an AC in my house, guys. Uh, so it's been really hot. Oh, no, this is not okay. an ancient cave tournament. Well, just let us know what you need help with, and everyone will help you. <laughs> I know, I, I know, I know. I know it's not on all me, but I just, I don't want to keep everybody too too occupied as well because i know we also have lives to do but other than that um yeah next week is when things should be starting kicked off when we start to get some pairings uh going and when pairings will be done we'll get racers together so we can see what times we do things what days and then we'll just let's we'll kick it off man get it started absolutely sounds great gg racers gg uh pink panther gg me i deserve it yeah, GG. <laughs> GG to chat. Have a good night. All right. Super Theories. What? I don't know what Rando was doing a race, but I hope it went well.